Hello everyone, this is Krishna, Product Manager at Altium. In this video, we will see about harness design within Altium Designer, as well as multi board schematic and how a multi board schematic can drive a harness design and also touch on MCAT Co Designer uh, to pull the length information of the harness as well as build the complete board assembly with the PCBs and harnesses. First, we'll focus on harness design. As you can see in the screen, this is a final manufacturing documentation generated from Altium Designer's harness tool. However, if you see on the left side, I can go to the wire dock where you can see the individual wires, the twisted pairs represented, and also if you click uh, individual wire, you can see uh, various properties of the wires and uh, all the connections between those uh, connectors as well. Now, if you go to the LDR dock, which is the physical representation of the harness. You can see the connector, the physical layout, uh, the back shells, uh, labels, everything represented within the layout document. Now, on the bomb, you will see aggregate of all the wires, bomb elements, which is automatically pulled into the active bomb. Now, if you see a particular connector here is out of date, uh, which automatically says uh, the latest revision from the library is not used. So I can go to the wire dock, I can go to this particular connector and I can click out of date button so it will automatically inherit all the properties of it and then I can go to the layout document to translate this information back into the layout and from the layout if I go to now uh, the final bomb document uh, it will consolidate all the properties uh, basically uh, the wire length everything in the layout the actual properties of the connectors wires from the wiring dock and then if I click it refresh now you can see now uh, the revision status is also out now updated Based on the manufacturing part number or the manufacturing life cycle status, everything is pulled into the active bomb. And also I've got the line numbering here. In case if I go to the Tapsman document, I can use those to annotate uh, my individual bomb items. Here within the manufacturing documentation, you can have the eye level physical view, the wiring diagram view, the wiring list, which represents each wire, what is the front two, and you can turn on strip plan, terminal, uh, seal, plug columns, and also the overall bill of material. So if you go here, this is the uh, active bomb and then because I have modified the out of date, I can just right click here import changes and it will import all the information from the bomb into the uh, draftsman document. You can also annotate, you can also put the dimensions and if you need, you can also add additional information such as clocking angle into your uh, manufacturing documentation. Now this is a simple um, harness. Now you can also do represent complicated harnesses. And you can also represent how the splices are represented, individual length, terminals, uh, labels, pretty much everything that you need to indicate your uh, final uh, contract manufacturer to produce your harnesses. Now, if you go to the draftsman document of this harness, it will give you a complete list of all the wires. I've also got a dual color wire here represented clearly here. And also all the wires, uh, labels, part number, terminal seals, everything is represented um, within your wiring list and the bill of materials. Now, this is a high level view of harness design. Now, how can I do a harness for a complete system? We can now use multi-board design. So I'll sign into this workspace where I've created a simple uh, uh, multi-board schematic design. So if I go to my overall system definition, here I've got two PCBs where I've got the PCB projects defined in my Altium and the J1 and J2 are the connectors that uh, the harness will come and connect to. And I've got the uh, a green color here represented uh, by a commercial off the shelf component. In this case, I've got a motor. So I've got two PCBs, a motor, and I'm going to define a harness between uh, these three uh, components. So if I go to the actual, click the actual the harness line, which I've represented, within the connections, you can see actually the net names N1, N2, N3, and N4, N4, N6, and the harness where it connects from P1 to P2 and from P1 to P5, basically. So there are three connectors between this harness. Now, if I create a harness inside this multiboard, I can import the information that I've used in my multiboard schematic into my wiring diagram. Now, because this is a completed one, I'll slightly move this wire and you can now automatically see every net name is basically translated from the multiboard schematic to the wiring diagram so that you exactly know which pin uh, from which connector is connected to which pin of the other connector. 
Now I'll finish this. So this is basically a wiring diagram. I've got all the six wires uh, uh, from the multi-board uh, schematic imported into the wiring duct. Now if I go to the layout, I've got the physical layout design done now. Here I've got everything as zero length. And if I go to my individual uh, wires, uh, bundles, each bundle, I can see it's calculated everything is zero length. Now, just to show you that, if I go to my final manufacturing documentation, everything is zero length. There is um, uh, the wire is not packed yet. Now you can enter uh, individual length of wires, but because I want to explain a, a important step here, uh, interaction or collaboration between ECAD and MCAT. Say for example, if you use 3D tools with the powerful tool of MCAT co-designer, you can import the length information of the segments as well as of the wires from the uh, MCAT side. So here I'm going to click the MCAT co-designer here. I've got a, a latest pull from MCAT. So if, if your mechanical engineer pushes uh, anything, uh, Altimbris and MCAT co-designer will automatically show you what is the latest from the MCAT side. So basically you can just click pull from uh, MCAT, which means it's going to compare it and it's going to give you a list of what are all the changes that has come from MCAT. So here you can see all the six wires, the length has changed and the three segments going from connection point CP1 to uh, CP underscore P1 to CP1. CP1 to CP underscore P2 and CP1 to CP5, which is three branches here. And those bundle segment lengths have also changed. If I click apply now, you can see the length is now automatically pulled from uh, the MCAT side. And if I go to individual bundle where it showed calculated, now it will show that the length has been pulled from the MCAT code designer and it will show the overall length value. Now I can go to my uh, bomb doc just to see if this length information is now translated, which is translated. And now if I go to my draftsman document, which is the final manufacturing documentation, as I've indicated, all I need to do is import changes from it. All the wire colors, the individual length, everything is now pulled into the uh, final manufacturing documentation. Now, this is from the layout side. However, you can also realize the full physical assembly of this harness along with the PCBs. For that, I'll go to my original multi-board project and here I'll just right click and I say I want to create a new multi-board assembly. So now here I've created assembly, you can see I'm going to save the assembly file. So I'm just going to give the name system assembly, which means it is the assembly. Now, generally you can import changes from multi-board, but it will only import the PCBs. With, with MCAT Core Designer, I can also pull the enter assembly from my uh, MCAT uh, 3D system. So I'm just going to say pull from MCAT. Now what it will do is it will go and see the changes and it's going to present me a list of changes uh, which has been pushed uh, from the MCAT side. So I'm just going to expand and show to you. So there are two PCBs which is basically the PCBs in Altium. There is a mechanical enclosure. There is a motor which is the commercial off-the-shelf component. There are four clips and the harness which is imported as a 3D body as well. When I click apply, all these changes you can see is running in the background, basically. And then once it's imported, you can see the final assembly of uh, the complete system with two PCB boards, the harness, the motor and the enclosure. Now, if you go to the multi-board assembly, you can now see all those uh, things. You can play, you can make it transparent, locked, everything just to realize your full assembly view. Just not this. This is overall collaboration. Say, for example, you want to collaborate with your manufacturer. Let us go back to the uh, wiring diagram of this particular thing. And let me see the manufacturing documentation. Now I can right click at any point and I can say show in web browser, which means whatever I've done within my Altium designer, I can also review and see it at the web. And this is also particularly useful in commenting and doing all the changes basically. Now. I'll go to my Altium designer here and say, for example, I want to click save to server, which means I'm pushing all these changes back to the server. So it's going to initialize everything and then push these changes to the server. Once everything is updated, it will show you the overall status and the save to server will automatically become everything as per. So the MBA document is being now saved and it is now being pushed uh, to the server. Once it is done, and now the overall multi-board file, which is being now transferred. Now you can see everything is now 
updated to the server. So now I can click show in web browser, which means it will automatically open uh, all the design artifacts and the MBS file is here, uh, the bomb is here. Now I can also do the harness side and then I can say go in web browser. Now what will this will do is basically this will open the harness artifacts in the web browser basically. Now you can see uh, the wiring layout draftsman and the bomb uh, in the web browser. Now what you can also do here is uh, basically collaborate internally for design reviews as well as you can collaborate with manufacturers. Uh, let's take an example say for example if I want to place a comment I can click the comment tool and I can basically click this particular object and I can say can you update the uh, visibility of the white wire. Now you can leave comments here of uh, the design on the web and you can assign the task to yourself or you can assign it to uh, any of your colleagues. So basically I'm going to assign the task here and I'm going to click post. The moment you have done this and if you now open your Altium designer basically and if you go to your comments and task basically you can automatically see uh, that being listed within your Altium designer. Now what you can do is you can take a look into this and you can now change uh, the status to in progress. So what you can do now is I can go to the properties of the wire, I can click add and I can say color border and this will automatically add a black border around the white wire. Now it does not stop here. Now basically I can, I, I can go to my layout, uh, translate the changes I've done in my wiring diagram and finally uh, the bomb has not changed much because you're just only adding a parameter and I can now click import changes uh, into my manufacturing documentation which will automatically update uh, the visibility of the wire. Now I can click save to server which means the design is now being saved to server and then you can add a comment border added resolve once verified and then you can click ok which will automatically save the design to the server. Now if you now right click and again click show in web browser, it will open a new tab um, basically and then you might need to wait for some time because um, uh, the comments will be updated immediately. Can you update the visibility of the white wire? You can now see it but the new changes uh, will take some time to propagate basically. Once it is done, you will automatically see a new version found and you want to update it where you can automatically update. Uh, the web view as well. You can see new visualization is now available. If I click refresh page, the design will be automatically now reflected and the comments updated. Now you can mark this as result. As you can see now the border is updated basically and you can also see the task here basically to do in progress as well where you can click all the changes as uh, from the web view and leave feedbacks and comments for your design team. Stay tuned for more videos to explore the functionality of Altium's harness design and also multi-board. Stay tuned. Thank you.